Over at the ticket desk, a mother and her two sons have arrived late and missed their flight to San Diego. Sharon McInerney and her sons could be in for a long wait for the next flight. If there's nothing at 9 15, we have to stand by the whole damn day. Check another airline for me. America West, any place, anything? Just check another airline for me. I want to get out of Chicago. Today. Okay, let's Our flight was supposed to leave in 10 minutes and we missed our flight and they got nothing available. All day, you know? I'm going to miss a whole day at work for this. Got here late and didn't expect the line to be like this. Then it was a problem with the credit card, I guess, or something. I mean, I'm they advise device. you to be here two hours before departure. You showed up 20 minutes before departure. Because the line? The line takes about 40 minutes, 40 to 50 minutes. Well, we've never been here before, so I didn't know this, OK? Hey, everything's sold out. It's Monday. It's a busy day, so everything's overbooked. That's ridiculous. They're pretty bored with the show. Absolutely insane. It's not like this in San Diego. Sharon and her sons have no choice but to go on standby. Justin, get over here and take this. And then she tries to blame it on me for not being here in time? I don't think so. Sharon McInerney and her sons are now on standby for a flight to San Diego. Will there be three seats left? Well, better go to that. Let's go. Let's go to America West. Screw this. You want to spend all damn day in the airport? The flight out, the, the last flight is booked. I'm just trying to get out of here. Thank you. They want 3,000 some odd dollars to get us the hell out of here. And nobody else has got anything. We're stuck. I mean, a Southwest rule is screwed. It looks like Sharon's finally run out of options. There's no way out of here. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get out of Chicago to go to San Diego. Do you have anything available? Sharon McInerney has tried every which way okay, to escape you. Chicago without success. Great. We can't get out of here. I want to go. To, I want to go home to San Diego. I want to sue Southwest, man. I, we can't get out of here. Uh, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. It's stuck in the damn Chicago. Well, I she ends up asking Anita if she can get her on a flight today. Let me see. Just to make sure I don't have a better way for you to get to San Diego, just double check it, okay? I mean, if the girl hadn't screwed around with my credit card so long, we could have made her. And then she tells these guys, oh, well, she came up here 20 minutes before boarding. That's not true. OK, so let's prepare you that you're going to go through Kansas City. It's, so again, a double connection. So it changes the planes again in Albuquerque to get you to San Diego. This is the only way we can do it. This is the only way we can do it. Oh, my God. I've never gone through so much hassle in all my life. Like. It's a roundabout way back to San Diego, but it's their only option. See if I can find Sharon. Back in Chicago, Anita is absolutely determined to make sure Sharon gets on a flight today. Standby passengers, Sharon McInerney to the podium, please. Standby passengers, Sharon McInerney to the podium. Come on, Sharon. Come on. Thank you, Maida, honey. Oh, come on, guys. You didn't trust me, did you, Sharon? You didn't trust me, did you? Oh, <laughs> God. I'm very happy. I'll get home a whole lot earlier than 5.17 tonight. You guys are welcome to board, okay? Right through the open door. Thank you. Come on, guys, let's go.